It's that Z, too low, no, she my flow Yeah, 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 it's that Z Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, it's going to be me versus Owen LCVN, and yeah, just just that. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, it's going to be me versus him, and the map of choice will be price ring, and of course, before we start, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my channel, and turn on the notification to not miss an upload or stream from my channel. Okay, let's begin. Okay, now the battle is loading up. Now, let's see what's gonna happen over here. Now, normally after this battle, he told me that he used red and gold, <laughs> which was fairly obvious. Okay, and uh, we had a contract of blue boost, but so yeah, I just stick to the blue boost stuff. Okay, here goes. Infantry training, of course. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to mess up on the ocean still. Okay, because I know the guy, he will not go for the ocean also. Yeah, he was, he's not going, he's literally going to ignore it, by the way. So, yeah, that's why I did not rush out for the ocean. Instead, I opted out for the infantry training vest. Okay, there goes, scouted the base. Okay, he collected uh, a good amount of container on land. He completely ignored the ocean. <clears throat> Hence, I'll take them all for myself. Okay, some assaults were able to somehow annoy me. At the beginning, okay, killed some coyote, or actually a coyote, and then it made me produce another coyote. My mistake there was I did not cancel the coyote, the second coyote, since there's this sniper tower, it already finished it. Okay, now let's see what's going on over here. Now let's see, I got this for a base, and he got this for a base. Wow, that's so fast. That is so fast. Okay, even faster than me. Okay, and I collected more containers than him. And then, not only that, going level 4 HQ. Wow. Okay, now let's see. How many supply centers does he have? Like, 6 supply center. That's super fast HQ4. Okay, and as you can see over here, this is uh, what I got for a base. Okay, well, literally. And, oh. He has like anti-air also. Oh, and the uh, commander Jaguar is chatting. Okay. There it goes. I'm gonna have to skip for a bit. Okay, guarding my base and uh, got rid of that vertex. Nice. Nice riddance, by the way. Okay, now let's see what I got over here. Since he is using gold, red or gold, which was fairly obvious, I added more supply centers. Yep, as you can see, to compensate for me having to, you know, like, compensate my income total to his on a gold boost. Alright, so yeah. And meanwhile, I'm just using blue boost. Okay. Upgrading this to level 3 for a Jaguar. Okay. Fast forward a bit. The okay, uh, first Hawk is out. Gonna have to try and scout him. He already has, like, a level 4 HQ, so I can expect more airfields. Rocket tower over there. Second anti-air being placed. Okay. Second Vertex will now pop out. Second ABF Factory, of course. And uh, let's see what's going on over here. And I'm going to have to uh, transition to level 4 HQ myself. Okay. There it goes. Level 4 HQ. Nothing crazy so far. <clears throat> it's trying to be annoying. Okay, I'm just trying to damage that ABF Factory. But to no avail. You know, Hawks are like somehow stupid. Okay, here goes. I'm gonna have to retreat, but sadly, that vertex managed to catch up to my hawks, which you know it's obvious. It's always how it how it is. Okay, now of course, porcupine production is always a must versus mass air. Okay, not going to rely too much on my anti air, but I built around here since the porcupines are positioned over here. So yeah. Adding more power plant, of course. Okay, let's fast forward a bit. Let's see what's going to happen here. At any moment now, he'll be attacking. And I destroyed that sniper tower since there's really no need for that. He doesn't have any Zeus. Doesn't have any torrents. Just Avia. That's it. Avia. Okay. Now let's see what's going to happen over here. One Hawk. 
Okay, so I already saw those uh, vertex flying to my base. There it goes. They're gonna have to kill my airfield, and let's see what's gonna happen over here. Okay, my hawk made a good uh, interception over there. Some of the vertex survived, but uh huh. Oh come on, you. Oh man, seriously. Okay, I'm gonna have to fall back. Okay, and uh, also have my hawks, you know, have my hawk kill some scouts while he's at it. Okay. Now, as can be seen over here, my hawk is still trying to get you know, to be annoying, and the vertex are gonna go back. And again, going to kill my airfield that is being rebuilt. Hopefully, thankfully, I only have one hawk out. Otherwise, that would have been painful if I had like four hawks. But of course, it was a good still. It was a good chain uh, trade since he exchanged the rest of his vertex for one of my airfield, and I only have one walk, one hawk to lose. Yeah, so it's still a win in my end, and a successful defense at that. Okay, Special Vehicle Factory, second one, it's now going to be produced, or built. <clears throat> Additional Airfield, going level 2. For Hawks, of course, Airfield, uh, Avia Factory, and then Airfield being rebuilt. Okay, now, what I really planned here was, you know, like, a Jaguar, Porcupine, Chameleon, and Hawk to cover, because I know entirely that he will have doors on the way. Okay, so, let's go on ahead and fast forward a bit. Okay, I'm positioning my porcupines to cover the entire base of mine. Okay, except from this side, which is fairly exposed. Okay, again, those vertex are now going to go move out. Again, a scout over here. Nothing crazy so far, just level 4 HQ. And uh, nothing really confusing. Just air. Still, this vehicle factory is... There's no Zeus. Yeah, no Zeus at all, so technically that's going to be all that I'm going to be dealing with, Vertex and Thors. Okay, fast forward a bit. Okay. Anti-air over here to cover this area, which is quite exposed, as I mentioned earlier. Okay. And then, additional airfield, since I already have four Hawks. Power plant, of course, to expand my base and power. Okay. And also, scouts will be placed around the the area to, of course, see those vertex that are, that are going to attack my base, so that my hawks will be able to react on time. Okay, and then another rifleman over here will be sent to the top. Oh, and well, he, he killed it. Nice. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Okay, here goes. I'm also gonna do the same thing for him. Get rid of some scouts. Okay, get killed. Oh uh, no. That's still alive, okay. Die. <laughs> Too bad for that as all. You know, oh man, he just died. Um, <laughs> being shoved with eight, like, how many missiles was that? Like, four times four, it's gonna be like 16 missiles. <laughs> then some machine gun bullets. Okay, now the Vertex also did the same thing for my rifleman. So yeah. Here goes, Sixth Hawk are now out. Rifleman yet again. As you can see, I got like tons of porcupines here to defend my base. Okay. So, that's it. And another Rifleman over here will be hiding on this location since those airfields are over there. If he goes straight to my base, he this Rifleman will see it. Okay, which is actually very good. Okay, additional airfield yet again. Okay, those Vertex, oh -hoo. Okay, now let's see here. Vertex are gonna have to get rid of my vehicle factory so that I will no longer have any Jaguars. Okay, and how many Vertex did he lose? Mm -hmm. Going after one airfield also. Okay, and my Hawks as usual, you know, slow. But of course, I'm gonna go ahead and intercept him anyway. Uh, those Vertex made a good comeback, and then there's like six Thors going level 5 HQ. Wow. Okay. Well, that's that. At least he admitted that he used gold. <laughs> After the battle, that is. Okay. Now, my rifleman will be killed by this uh, assault infantry. Okay. And, ooh, those Thors are now going to go ahead and go to my base. Now, let's see what's going to happen over here. 
Okay. Okay, some of my uh, Hawks intercepted. Four Hawks could not one hit kill Thor. Okay, killed an air field, an anti air, and a power plant. Heavily damaged my Avia factory. Okay, those uh, Hawks of mine gonna try and, of course, uh, kill those Thors. Ver two Vertex in exchange for one Avia factory is not bad. Okay, very nice indeed. Okay, but I surely lost a lot of Hawks over there. As you can see, one of my Hawks are now gonna fly away. But as you can see, since those Thors and Vertex, you know, there's like a few number of them remaining since I've destroyed a lot. Okay, now given that, I'm gonna have to march over my porcupines here. He doesn't have any land units. Okay, and he doesn't have any land like fortress, Zeus, torrents, no nothing. Okay, before I had my porcupines go over here, I killed the assault infantry to have him unaware of my units advancing or marching towards this location to the top right hand corner now as can be seen i'm going level 5 hq myself in case he might try and snatch my hq and still non-stop porcupine production to of course replace the uh, porcupines that i will be sending to his base since i need anti-air also on my base okay i'm rebuilding the avia factory that i lost and the airfield of course and as can be seen, I'm going to use my Hawks over here to see what he has. And voila! <laughs> okay. Space system. Wow. Okay. My Hawks killed it. That space system is obviously not maxed out. Hence, it was killed by just four Hawks. And also, it's under production. So, yeah. Okay, here goes my Porcupines. The uh, rocket tower is placed over here, away from this area. And uh, let's see what's going on here. Vehicle attack boost. Okay, to increase the speed of those porcupines and the damage as well. Okay, ooh, those stores are now going to go on ahead and have another bombing run. Okay. Now, let's see what's going to happen here. My hawks will also help out save the day. Come on. Oh. It's going to bomb here anyway. Okay, now let's see what's going to happen here. Okay, come on, chase them, man. Chase it. Chase. Oh, man. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. He only has one anti-air, by the way. And then ra rocket tower, as usual, the range is super. Okay, additional rocket tower being built. I'll have my hawks destroy them. Okay. To avoid any uh, base defenses. Got rid of all the Thors, which was quite nice. Okay, he was... You know, he does have not he doesn't have enough power. And I'll have my porcupines over here be as annoying as humanly possible as you can see. He doesn't have any land defenses over here. No vehicle factory. Oh no, um yeah, there's a vehicle factory, but it's not level two, not level three, nothing. Now all he has is this. Rocket tower. Sacrifice one of the buildings over here to be replaced with a rocket tower. But I'm not gonna let him do that, you know. Okay, so yeah, Vehicle Factory now going to be upgraded, and as you can see, I'm just rebuilding my uh, Hawk count to 8 Hawks, okay, 2 Hawks, at, okay, queued up for for uh, Avia Factory, okay, so there goes, the uh, Attack Vehicle uh, Boost, okay, I'm going to have to get rid of that uh, Rocket Tower, which also not maxed out by the way, okay, and is being built. I also had some of my porcupines damage this vehicle factory, which was being upgraded. Okay, got rid of that um, rocket tower being built. Bunkers are now going to be placed. Spam them. Yeah. And I'm going to have to snatch this avia factory right over here. Okay. And voila. Okay. I'm going to have to try and focus back on this uh, vehicle factory. I'm not going to let him have hammers. There goes. Kill that. Okay, and then my Hawks are here. I'm gonna have to somehow get rid of that anti-air. Very nicely done. Getting rid of some buckers. Okay. And also the uh, rocket towers. Okay. There it goes. Gonna have to kill the rest of the rocket towers right over there. Since I'm going to move my porcupines over here to this location. Hence those rocket towers are out of range even on gold boost. Since it's already been past 10 minute mark. Okay. Still gonna have to get rid of that rocket tower. Nice riddance. 
Okay. Now his base is pretty much defenseless and he can like produce all the assaults he wants, but it ain't gonna cut it versus you know like how many porcupines are those? Are like nine porcupines. <laughs> okay. So yes, okay, my hawks run out of fuel. Okay. And then at that, as you can see my base. Voila. Nuclear, in case he was able to make a good comeback, miraculously. Okay, now, here, um, let me give you a trick. Okay, this is a rocket tower being built. I had the rest of my porcupines target this rocket tower that, that is being built right over here. And, as you can see, one of my uh, porcupines, I had it, you know, I intentionally had it attack the HQ still. Because he might he might repair the HQ while all of my ha uh, all my porcupines killed this rocket tower. So I had literally one porcupine damage this uh, HQ, so he cannot repair it. <laughs> Just you know, being annoying. Okay, as you can see. All right, and then I'm gonna have to focus fire on that bunker and still have one of the uh, porcupine target fire the HQ and to kill it. You know, this is a very annoying way to get to lose because, you know, porcupines is going to take forever to kill a building and, uh, yeah, it just sucks <laughs> to lose like this. So, yeah, um, so technically the lesson here is to always scout, all right, scout and always have something on land. What he did was he messed up Avia, okay, he attacked me, he lost most of his Avia units. And then rush to space system. That's what he did. That's very wrong. You don't have any land defenses. Just one rocket tower ain't gonna cut it. And it's out of range from where I made my entrance. Okay. So there it goes. And at this point on, I think he already left the battle. But, of course, I'm not going to break my contract. I'm gonna have to make sure that he will leave. Or he already left the battle. Because if he already does, as you can see... I have contract for Kaiman and then a Barracuda. So yeah. I'm going to use Red uh, Naval Production Boost. Okay, as you can see, I'm just making sure that he will... That he already left the battle over here. So yeah. Nice porcupines. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there it goes. First Barracuda is out. And then that's gonna be it. GG. He doesn't have anything left to oppose my base. Or to oppose my units that are here. Hence, he already left the battle. And so I'm going to have to proceed with my contract. And also coyotes, of course. Alright, so again guys, if you like the video, please give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe on my channel and turn on that notification to not miss an upload or stream from my channel. Might as well comment down below what are your thoughts into this video. And if you would like to support me at my cost, helping me financially, and of course, you know, help me grow my channel. It would be very awesome if you could join my channel memberships. Yeah, channel membership, you can actually join by going to my channel. It's underneath the subscriber count of my channel. Okay, so again, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day and good luck with your battles. And I'm going to have to fast forward this to end the battle. All right. Let's just wait for the victory icon. Okay, I'll use my Barracuda to kill those diamonds. Imba Barracuda. <laughs> Can kill a diamond. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, victory. Alright, so bye now.